I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com and I'm here in New York City for REIT Week 2012, near REIT's Investor Forum. Joining me today is Michael Schall, President and CEO of Essex Property Trust. So Michael, rents, net operating income, and other multifamily fundamentals continue to improve and, and, and show a lot of growth. In your opinion, how much more room is there for these to grow? You're right. We're in the early stages, I think, of a recovery in rents along the West Coast. And uh, we think that that's going to continue for some, some time. Uh, we, at this point in time, really all we've done is recovered the rents that we lost amid the Great Recession. And uh, going forward, we're forecasting from 25 to 30 percent uh, apartment rent growth on the West Coast, really driven by uh, recovering tech sector. We think the tech companies are incredibly well positioned both financially, uh, globally, and operationally. And uh, we think that's going to continue to drive uh, job growth on the West Coast, which the combination of job growth and limited supply is really what makes the West Coast markets uh, an outperformer relative to the rest of the nation. So we expect that to continue. So with demand drivers likely to remain strong for the foreseeable future, we're seeing more companies get involved in enhancing their development activity again. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, what your company's doing in that regard? Since the Great Recession, we've committed to over $2 billion uh, in apartment investments along the West Coast. Uh, initially, that was uh, distressed condo uh, transactions that we converted into apartments. More recently, we've expanded the development pipeline uh, we have started in 2011 and 2012 six apartment communities, uh, aggregating around $570 million in total cost. And we expect to start three additional communities uh, in uh, 2012, which will bring our development pipeline to somewhere around a uh, billion dollars going forward. So we think that those uh, transactions are very well positioned given you know, the early stage of recovery along the West Coast. And, um, and they're just you know, in the most vibrant West Coast markets, uh, San Jose, uh, Seattle, and uh, West Hollywood, for example. And with so much in the sector's favor, what are you hearing from investors in terms of their biggest concerns, whether it's about Essex or the multifamily sector in general? Um, there's a number of concerns. I mean, I, I think most of them relate to the macro economy. Uh, we, you know, we had a long, very prosperous business cycle in the 80s and again in the 90s. And then following the 2001 recession, we had a relatively short business cycle really truncated by what happened in for sale housing and the mortgage situation. And uh, so we're, and, and actually the effects of that are still with us today, you know, from ranging from uh, higher unemployment rates than we're used to, uh, fiscal uh, issues both in Europe and around the globe but also here in the United States at, uh, at various levels. And so I think that those, the resolution of those issues is important to create a long and prosperous business cycle uh, from this point on. Well, Michael, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, appreciate it. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.